Imagine you're laying in bed asleep and you are awakened by the proverbial bump in the night. Hopefully you've got the gear to protect yourself and your family, but is it all together where you can where you can get to it and find it in a, in a quick manner? I was thinking about this in my own life and I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of put everything together in one place that I could easily, easily get a hold of. So I decided to make a home defense belt and I did a video about this a while back and my, my kind of my first stab at it had a lot of different comments from people, a lot of advice from viewers. And I took all that to heart, did a little more thinking about it. And um, I created what I think is a better version and a little simpler version of the home defense belt. Um, here it is. We're going to take a look at this coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So as I said, I made a video a while back about uh, my first stab at a home defense belt, and I, and I came up, up with this idea because I started realizing I carry around certain things every day to, to uh, help protect me and my family and to be prepared for emergencies. And I told this story uh, in the last video, so I won't repeat it all, but very briefly, about 10 or 15 years ago, in the middle of the night, I was awakened by a very loud piercing siren like the alarm went off. And at that time, I was sleeping um, with zero clothing, we'll put it that way. Uh, I know don't, don't, that's a mental picture you don't want, I get it, but so I just, it, I didn't have any training or anything like that. I grabbed my pistol and I went to, to, uh, to make, see what was going on, make sure there wasn't no bad guys in the house, which may not have been the smartest move, but I had a little kid, so I wanted to make sure they were protected. As it turned out, the door had just blown open from the wind. It wasn't shut well, so we were good there. But as I thought about that over the years, I thought, you know, what would I do um, if something really did happen? Um, and all I've got in my hand is a pistol, and I don't have any pockets. So um, I decided that maybe it would come up now that I've had a little more training, a little more time to think about it, come up with a something, a home defense belt, something I could just grab and snap on real quickly and be prepared and have the gear that I, I might need to uh, hopefully take care of a potential problem. Um, like I said, we made uh, several different, um, I've made several different um, adjustments to my original one. And this video, we're gonna, I'm gonna take you down here to the old tabletop. I'm gonna show you exactly what I've got, um, what's on here, tell you exactly how you can, you can duplicate the same thing I've got here if you want to do that. First of all, let me say, give a big thank you, by the way, to the folks at ClickBelts for sending me the uh, belt that I'm using here for this home defense belt. Uh, ClickBelts has been a channel sponsor for quite a while now, several, several years, and they're uh, really, really good belts. Uh, sewn in Texas, now feature Cobra buckles, genuine Cobra buckles, which is, I think, any kind of a uh, home defense belt needs to have a Cobra buckle. So without me rambling on, first let me just show you kind of why I think this is a good idea, and then I'll take you down to the tabletop and we'll uh, take a look at everything that's on here and why it's on here. And I'll try to make it brief with minimal rambling. Okay, so the reason I thought this was a good idea is because uh, typically you're not gonna have a bunch of pockets. I mean, whether you sleep you know, um, in your birthday suit or in a pair of pajamas or sweats or shorts or whatever, chances are you don't have a lot of pockets and belts and all that stuff on there. So I thought this would be a good way to be able to have something. You could, you could put the gear you need on here. And then if, if you need it, I keep this hanging up by the bed. If I need it in the middle of the night, I can just Pop it off, put it on here like so, and I'm ready to go. That fast, snap, you're done. I've got everything I need on here. Now let's take a look uh, at the tabletop and show you a little more detail about what these different items are. Tell you where you can get them. And I want to explain to you about this belt too because it takes a little bit of customization to make it work, but it's worth it. Okay, so here's the belt. See, first of all, as I said, this is a click belt, so it features a genuine Austria Alpen Cobra buckle. And then this happens to be their three-ply tactical belt. This is an inch and three-quarter wide. Comes in a lot of different colors if you don't like the multicam. And then here's where the customization part comes in. So you can order this with a Velcro backer. So this is this is called the loop, and this is the hook side of Velcro. The loop side is soft, and the hook side is scratchy. So if you order a typical Velcro backing, it's going to be the, the hook side on it. So you can write in the notes, special order notes, and I'll put a link in the video description when you order these click belts, that you want a, a loop side backing, and then you have to just ask them in the notes to send you just a piece of Velcro liner. And the reason this is important is because you'll notice there's nothing here on the back side, like right back here on the small of my back. Um, I had stuff on here before on the small of my back, and I, I've learned from, from people that know what they're doing and from a lot of people commented that you don't want anything in the small of your back because if you fall down on that, you can, do, you can really have a significant spinal injury. So I moved everything around 
to the side. So this is like at the four o'clock position here. Everything from, from four to eight is gonna be open. So depending upon what, what different holsters you have on here, what that Velcro allows you to do is to keep this stuff from sliding around. You can see it kind of, that wants to slide there. This will want to slide here if you don't have the Velcro. So this slides all around. So by using this piece of Velcro, you can position this exactly where you want it on your body and then just tighten it up. And that keeps it from sliding around, which is really important because I've got this thing, uh, you know, like hanging up on, on a hook, then everything's gonna to wanna to slide to the bottom. So I can just grab it, put it on. So let's take a look at what's on here now. Starting here, I've got, I put this stuff on the front so it'll be on the front right uh, where I can get to it with either hand, you know, left or right. This is a chest seal and a tourniquet because those are two items that I think are really important for, you know, self-preservation. And I've got my hog holsters, Saguaro outside the belt holster. This one's for Glock 19. Going on around, I've got a, a uh, Blue Force Gear 10 speed mag pouch for my AR magazine because the pistol's gonna be a backup. I have a uh, Pitbull Tactical magazine holder in this case just because I like those because they'll hold any magazine. I've got my Topps Ice Dagger here just to have a knife because I need a knife. You never know when a knife will come in handy. Then I've got my Surefire Tactician uh, right here in a Night Eyes flashlight, flashlight case. You notice I've got this slanted just a little bit that's so that if I if I have to squat down or bend over, it doesn't. This thing doesn't poke into my leg crease because this comes up right in my hip crease. So, but that's it. So if I need this in the night, I can just bam, bam. It's on. Again, my uh, med stuff trauma kit items are right here in the very front. I get to them with either hand. Flashlights here with my right where my left hand is going to grab it, nice and easy. So. I got, I got both flashlight and pistol. My first iteration, I had a light on my pistol, but I've since decided I really just don't want that. Then, magazine here, I can get to it my right hand if I need to, and AR mag back here. Notice my magazines are both oriented with the rounds to the front, so if I'm grabbing my AR mag like this, bam, it's good to go in. And again, notice there's nothing, nothing on the back. So there you go. Okay, so that was a quick look at what I think is my final version of a home defense belt. But uh, before I close the video, I want to address just a couple of other things and then we'll wrap this up. First of all, I had several different um, suggestions, I guess, as to different things I should carry on here. And one of the, one of the most common was a, a pair of flex cuffs. To me, I don't know, that's just not so, I want to keep this thing really simple. I'm not interested, I'm not a policeman. I don't think I need to arrest somebody. Um, hopefully they'll just run away and leave. Um, <laughs> that'd be my, my optimal solution. They just decide to turn tail and leave. I'm not interested in shooting somebody. I don't want to kill people. I just want the threat to go away. So I've tried to keep this to just the, the basic things I might need. The other thing I want to address is the whole concept of clearing your house anyway. The, when I did the old uh, buck naked clearing exercise in my other house, I had had no training and really it was a stupid thing to do. My entire family was upstairs in their own bedrooms. I should have just parked myself at the top of the stairs and, and listened to see if anything was going on. As it turned out, nothing was, but uh, me walking around through the house is not a good idea. You walking around through the house is probably not a good idea. You know, if you've got kids in other rooms, obviously you want to secure those, but call the police, let the police clear the house. That's their job. They're trained for that and they can bring in more than one person to do it, I bet you. So anyway, that's, that's my, my, my two little words of advice. Um, as far as that goes, if you want to get this, set, set up your belt like this, you want to you get your click belt with the um, right configuration. So I'll put a link to the belt you need below and I'll even write in there um, what, what notes you need to leave. So um, that way the folks at click belt will know what you need. And, and you know what? If you're not sure, just call them. Call them. They'll, they'll, they'll help you out. They're really good folks there. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. I really sincerely appreciate the support. And finally, if you like the content you see here on Survival on Purpose and you want to be able to continue to watch it 
I would encourage you to go to survivalonpurpose.com slash subscribe and get signed up for my weekly email newsletter where every week I'll send you an email with links to my videos and any news offers or deals that I think you might be interested in and that will allow us to stay in touch in case YouTube decides they want to kill this channel because I dared to show anything to do with guns on it. So you just never know um, when, that, when that could or will happen. So that'll let us stay in touch and I can tell you where you can find the, the content when I have to move it. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. I really sincerely appreciate your support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.